What is going on, everybody? It's your boy Morgan here at Morning Oko Game, and I'm here with my special guest co-host for episode eight of our Shield Nuzlocke, Sword and Shield Nuzlocke, Mr. Joe Zamora from Zamora Gaming. Tell him how you're doing, Joe. I'm doing great, Morgan, and those of you watching on my channel, I am Joe Zamora with Zamora Gaming, obviously, and Morgan Oko Gaming is my host, and isn't it nine? Episode 9? I think it last episode was episode, oh, yeah. nine. episode 9. We are at episode 9. All Sorry right. about that. <clears throat> and we are going ahead and getting started here in 3, 2, 1, go! Alright. Um, a little recap of last episode. Um, we've been making our way through Route Ladder. <laughs> and I've been uh, trying to level up my pokes just to get the evolutions going. And Morgan, how's your traverse going? Um, I'm gonna be honest with you, Joe. I lied to you last time. I already beat Hap, and I'm walking into the gym right now. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I do. I'm sorry. It's okay. So you you battled him and cheated. Got it. That that should be an automatic. I didn't cheat. I didn't, cheat. I didn't play what I wasn't playing. I just told you different. Uh, I, I, wait, damn, is that cheating? What? Is that cheating? No, should, or should you, we, you can lie to me. Or, or should we call it lying? You can lie to me, but you can't play whenever we're not supposed to be playing. No, why would I play whenever? I wouldn't do that. That was retarded. Oh, I wouldn't cheat. I had a Good feeling. Morning. I mean, I had a feeling you already beat Hop because it was two minutes or so after you told me you were yeah. about to battle him. <laughs> yeah, you're right. No, I wouldn't play while the, the camera's off. That'd be dirty. Well, you enjoy battling the gym. I'm going to evolve my Pokemon. Fair enough, sir. Fair <laughs> enough. Oh, shit. Shit. I have a good, comfortable point lead. I can't risk losing Pokemon, though. Especially since you're at a disadvantage right now with some of your Pokemon that you've been losing. Yeah, I'm at a dis severe disadvantage with one. <laughs> so Morgan, you, how many cats do you have? Yeah, I have one cat. One, one beautiful little... Little pain in the ass? <laughs> yeah, it's the best thing in the world. <sighs> don't ever call my cat a pain in the ass. Oh. Well, I don't mind cats. I'll fucking end you. <laughs> I don't mind cats, but eh, my wife's more of the cat person. You all have a cat, don't you? Yeah, we have a cat. I'm allergic to cats, so. Oh, damn, that's cold. She done you like that. No, I got it for her. Oh, man. Why'd you do that? Because, you know, she likes cats. She never had a cat before, so I got her her first cat ever, and she's in love with it, so it was worth it. I, t I have really good med- uh, Allergy medicine as well, so I don't suffer too bad. Well, that's just a beautiful story, Joe. I'm so glad you shared that with the group. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. A regular. So you're a real sharer. <laughs> I'm a regular <laughs> Romeo. Uh... Sorry, ladies. I'm married. <laughs> yeah. None for you. But how'd y'all get y'all's cat? Um, there was two of them, and they walked up to uh, my girlfriend. Just like, she was outside talking to her mom on our porch. And they just walked up to her. They were two little kittens, and uh, they started coming to our house after that. And uh, we tried to adopt both of them, but our uh, management, like our rental management, wouldn't let us do that. Mm-hmm. So we could only take one. So we kept one and gave the other to her grandma. And that's how we got him. And it, it turns out, actually, we thought it was a girl for about two months. Well, the whole time, actually. So like four or five months, we thought it was a girl. And uh, then took it to the vet to get its stuff done. And turns out it was a boy. He must have been fluffy as hell. No, he's not fluffy. He was, a, he was stray, but there are people here... I don't know if they have this where you're at, but there are people here who will, uh... Neuter strays. Like, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, uh, you couldn't tell. Oh, no. I, I don't believe we do have that. And, yeah, uh, sorry to cut you off, but, uh, I just had an evolution, so I now have a Koopa Raja. Oh, nice. So, <coughs> one down. Is that how you see that? Koopa Raja? I thought it's Koopa Raja. Oh, it's probably Koopa Raja. But, I mean, the name, people's name is Cooper, it's C-O-P-P-E-R, so, but. Oh, I think I like Cooper Raja better. Uh, yeah, but I think Copper is the right one, because of the element, it's still tight. But I'm gonna still call it Cooper Raja, just to piss people off. Oh, yeah. May, may the troll be with you. <laughs> Was that cringe? Was that cringe enough for you? No, I like it. I like it. I'm all about the cringe. So how'd you celebrate your May the 4th? Um, I don't think... We bought a bunch of Star Wars series the other day, but I don't think we really did anything. I don't know what we did May the 4th. Dude, I've gotten several really sick Star Wars characters, the Star Wars figures lately, like these black figures. I got yeah. this red one, and this Death Pass Grievous. This is the Grievous is right here on the camera. Can't really see. Red is over there on the wall. You, you know those uh, little foam balls? Like the Star Wars ones? They're like keychains. Foam balls? Well, they have foam in them, but they're cloth, and they're designed to be like little round Star Wars characters. I think I know what you're talking about, yeah. Yeah, my wife bought a bunch of those. She doesn't have all of them, but she has almost all of them. How, how old is your wife? She's 25. She's two months younger than me. Not too much. <clears throat> And I took a nasty sucker punch on my Pokemon, and that was scary. Spirit was almost with us in spirit. <laughs> After I just th I saw my door, something's happened. Well, if you need a pause, go ahead. No, I ain't pausing. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't dealing with that shit. I'm sure Halston's asleep, so I'm not sure. Mm. I'm assuming it's Sydney. Working. I don't like her to hear me doing this. It makes me feel weird. Why? She's me. I don't know. She like she's watching me. Because you're trying she's... to talk to yourself, and she's kind of intruding in your conversation. Kinda, yeah. And then like that time she came in here and scared the shit out of me because she told me I let the cat out. You remember that? Yeah, I was there. <laughs> I was here, <laughs> but I was there. <laughs> it, it hurt me deeply. I was scared. <laughs> Man, this ponytail is supposed to hit like a tank, but it doesn't. Yes, it does. It was hitting me like a tank. Uh, maybe it's just, uh, I don't know. The levels. God damn it. I went into this gym battle without healing up first. Ooh. Take Fuck. that. Eat a dick, Joe. And a Gigantamax, uh... Gengar is not going to be easy to deal with either. Oh, I should have moved on. <laughs> oh, man. So how are you feeling uh, at this point in the challenge? I'm feeling fine, Jerry. I'm feeling fine. What the hell is it? Hang on, I'm not. Okay. Excuse me. I got a hiccup going. Ooh. <clears throat> oh, he slipped. Damn it. What happened? That's, um, wandering spirit. Uh, your mask. It it trades uh abilities with you whenever you make contact with it. Mhm. Mm yeah. So. Uh, there's the, it did that to my Berserker, so it no longer has tough balls. Ooh, and the Yamas she has is physical. 
Well, it's dead. I killed it, but. Uh. So you talk. We talked about that we both played football, but what positions did you play? I was a defensive back and a and offensive end, tight end. Oh, okay, that's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> well, I would have half liked you. I was uh, a. Yeah. I was a quarterback slash middle linebacker. Yeah, you look like you'd be a linebacker. Yeah, that was that was where they preferred me. Uh, but I fought to play quarterback, and I got to play for a while. Until my senior year, they really didn't want me playing quarterback because of my height and my speed. My throwing was fine, but they said I wasn't fast or tall enough to play quarterback. So I quit. <clears throat> so you quit? Did yeah. you quit playing forever? No, I mean, I quit playing for high school. Uh, I started playing like flag football and stuff after I got out of high school. But I wasn't going to play for a coach who was going to be like that because he was all favoritism and all that dumb shit. Yeah, you told me that one time. Yeah. Sorry. It probably sounds like I'm not paying attention to anything you're saying, but I'm fucking trying to... Oh, no, I know you're trying to focus on your gym. <laughs> not lose. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, but that's an ongoing conversation I have a lot. Is about the coaches at that school. They sucked. What was the name of your high school? Uh, MacArthur and Irving. I went to Hardin Valley Academy. And that's a mouthful. <laughs> yeah, it's prestigious, doesn't it? Yeah, it sounds <laughs> prestigious because Academy is in the name. Was it? It's a nice ass school. Yeah, it looked like a fucking space station. It was. A, it was. I was the first graduating class too. Oh, so it's brand new freaking yeah. school. Yeah, brand new school that year. It was, well, it was a brand new year school the year before because there was a uh, no senior year. Like there was no senior class the first year. No, it was just juniors. Oh, okay. Which yeah, because, which, it kind of so the high school that I went to. I was all about football in high school. So the high school <laughs> I was going to was fucking awful. Their football team was just terrible. So I was trying to move schools to like get on a better football team so this school opened up and i was zoned for it so i was like yeah i'll go to this and uh turns out like i get there and turns out we don't have a varsity the first year so my junior year i was playing varsity when i was a freshman so i was not trying to play jv when i was playing varsity so i, I pretty much trapped myself and fucking didn't get to play varsity junior year and then i don't know it like that year it made me just not that into it but i played senior year i just didn't like I don't know, I just didn't care anymore. I still played. Like, I, I played. Like, I, I was good. Mm hmm so. I mean, I I like to think I was good, but we had so many quarterbacks, they kind of threw me to the side. I mean, I knew I was better than most of the quarterbacks there, but I wasn't faster than any of them. Certainly wasn't taller than any of them. Berserker takes a death to curse. Is that a second? <laughs> no, that's his first. Okay. So most years are sitting with two deaths now. Yeah, Ponyta's the only one. Do you? How many do you have that don't have any deaths? Only uh, Copperaja. Yeah. Rough. Rough. It is. That's the only one. Maybe this might be hard to even make it through without uh, not dying. You know. <laughs> uh, yeah. That, that's why I threw in the challenge of us uh, knocking off uh, life from everyone to make it a little bit harder. So, who knows if we even make it through the whole game. <laughs> I mean, I knew it would be hard, but sheesh, I didn't think I was going to get wrecked. Yeah. At this point, I feel like somebody's not going to make Like, I feel like we're not going to make it to the through the end of it. One of us might not. <clears throat> Have you ever finished a Nuzlocke with nobody being killed? Uh, no. 
because traditionally uh, you don't play a Nuzlocke this way. Um, yeah, I know, I know that. But I I played a Nuzlocke where I, one time Alpha Sapphire where I did not have anybody die. Yeah, I mean some. It, it just depends on how okay. strict you're gonna I be. No I have no care. But did I was you? Pretty sure. But did you have a level cap? Like you couldn't be over a certain level before a gym. No, I didn't have that. No. Yeah, I always have that because I don't want to be level forty battling the third gym. So I'll cycle out my team if I have to, so I don't go over the level by too much. Like the most I could go over, like the their max level Pokemon would be maybe one or two. <clears throat> but I'll try to use the like the Pokemon I'm gonna use for that gym I won't have over the max level of his Pokemon or her Pokemon do you battle any trainers during the gym before the gym leader um no oh yeah 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 you do three okay well I'm gonna go ahead and start challenging the gym then I think yeah, I might as well. Because most of my Pokemon are level 34. I'm going to have to use Trickery to not get a death during this right here. Trickery? Yeah, Trickery. How's that going to work out? I, don't, I mean, it's working so far. Because this Gengar was like going to KO me if I, I... I'm using Hyper Potion to stay alive mm. and not get a KO on my result. So I, I outlasted its, it's Dynamax just because I had enough Hyper Potions by chance. I haven't bought any. <clears throat> okay. No, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty prepared. Oof. I might have just won this without a single death, though. Or wait, no. Never mind. Fucking, uh, who got a death? Berserker? Berserker yeah. did. So I'll go ahead and mark that down that you got to the gym first and beat it. I haven't beat it yet. Hold on. I mean, you're going to beat it before me. Yeah, I beat it. Okay, Gengar was the last one. So yeah. So the score is 4 2 9. And Preserker has two lives now. So Raboot has two. Drake Assault has two. Or Beetle has two. Berserker has two, Ponyta has three, Farfetch has one. All right. <clears throat> well, you go ahead and move on, and we'll see if I can beat the gym before all that stuff is done. I've never done this gym puzzle, so it might take me a minute. My rabbit is evolving. Oh, nice. So the only thing that I have Ponyta and Farfetch not evolved yet. That's it. Whoa, this is trippy. What is? The gym thing? <laughs> oh, wow. You actually gotta spin the thing. I used to love the teacups, because I used to make people, like, hurl from how fast I would make the thing spin. So this oh, yeah? Is, this is pretty cool. Alright, um... I'm going at it. <clears throat> Yeah, I beat the ghost gym. So you only have one Pokemon that's not fully evolved? Two. Ponyta and Farfetch. Okay. Yeah, I don't think my Ponyta is going to be fully evolved either. No, it won't be before we battle. Mine won't be out. Think... You said 40, right? Neither will my Farfetch. I shouldn't have picked Farfetch because it's going to be a pain in the ass to try and evolve. Because I don't have time to just sit and... I did do it pretty quick the first time, but I don't have a leak. Yeah. You know it's stupid we can't change our uniform when we go in and battle. Uh really? Yeah. Oh. Can't change it. Uh I think the first time you do the tournament you can't use uh a different uniform either. Can't use a different uniform at all. Like you know uh how you automatically dress up in a different uniform 
Wait, you're right. I don't think even in the tournament you could do that. No, you can't do it at all anywhere. Well, Wait, maybe you, have, you can, can online. You can online, I think. Well, that's pretty lame that they sell other uniforms, but you can't switch the color. Well, they give you a uniform every time you beat the damn gems. So why would you not be able to use them? Why can't I use it whenever I'm done using it? Whenever I'm done beating it. Yeah. It makes sense how you give it to me. I don't know. I guess it's like official, and the the ones they give us are kind of like fan jerseys, I guess. That's only common since I could spin on it. Because, I mean, it should still let you. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright. I'm nervous because they're not gaining as much levels as I thought they would. I only have one rare candy. Ugh. That sucks. No, no. Ugh. Ooh. Spin, bitch. Oh, wait. Oh, I get hit by the claw anyway. Oh, you have to. I'm about to say, why I don't want to hit the clock? When does fucking Farfetch get the move that does more than one attack at a time? Fury attack? Uh, I don't yeah. think it gets that move anymore. What do you mean? Then how is it supposed to evolve? Uh, I used Fury Cutter a lot. Cause does it, it Fury yeah. Cutter goes once, doesn't it? He goes once, but it has a high critical hit chance. Right. Trainer Lin. Alright, I'm at my second uh, gym trainer. Uh, it looks like uh, if I do get to the gym leader, uh, we'll be doing our battle uh, at the beginning of the next uh, episode. Come on, Yellow Widow. Put in that work. Fucking funny because move four is trash. Oh, it is. That's why I gave it all the moves that I wanted it to have before we started. That's why I'm glad uh, we were able to do that. All right. Oh, he's gonna suck. I should have I should have over leveled Ponyta and just put it away. I wish I would have fully evolved it. Oh shit. I'm gonna have to go this way. This puzzle is a little confusing. It's getting me. I had just recently done it for my son in his game, so I remembered it pretty good. Oh shit. Finish? Wait, I'm done? Oh wait, there's one more trainer. Whew! I was nervous. Why? Cuz, I'm trying to get all my Pokemon evolved. <laughs> This is not good. This has to evolve my Pokemon. I'm challenged by a gym trainer. As you can see, I'm stressing the hell out over here. I mean, I think these next two Pokemon should give me enough juice. I'm certainly doing enough damage. Oh yeah. 
This is going to get me where I need to be. Should have protect on this thing. Oh wait, it goes through anyway. I could take a hit. Perfect. All right. Whew, you look quiet over there, Morgan. You doing okay? Yeah, I'm focusing. I'm focusing. focusing. You look harder than mine, you know that guy? <laughs> Come over there and kick your ass, Joe. We're almost done 30 minutes right now. Yeah, uh, uh, four more minutes. And I got my Charmeleon evolving. Perfect. We finally got a brave Charizard on our team. And we cannot afford to lose this next battle. Or else we lose this Charizard. Because as much as I begged Morgan to get rid of my Dreepy, he's not going to do it. Hmm. Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Maybe. You struggling through the forest? No, I'm fucking... I'm, don't worry about what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, you're trying to evolve your Farfetch. Yeah, I'm trying to evolve my <laughs> fucking Farfetch. Are you kidding me? It's a little struggle. The my key, the way I did it, was um, <clears throat> I would uh, go to a, a Wobbuffet and I would Fury Cutter it three times because it could take it in the wild area. So that's, oh, how, so that's how I took care of it. All right, guys, and now we're going to take on the Ghost Gym Leader. Alistair, bring it on, bitch. That was rough. I know. He's probably going to destroy me for that now. Probably. I hope so. Alright, first Pokemon he sends out is a Pathetic Mask. After that, we'll have to end this episode. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hopefully, I beat him before you get your evolution off. Yeah. Alright, your mask goes down without a hitch. We got Cursula coming out. And that's the fully evolved form. So we're going to go ahead and get a max air stream up to get that speed boost on the Gengar because we know that's coming out. hope that uh, Gengar doesn't have an electric type move. Because that would suck. Ooh, that thing has ancient power. And it got all the boost. Yikes. Alright, we're still faster because we just got our speed boost. So we're going to max flare, get the sun up. So hopefully we can one hit KO the Gengar with the max flare. We can't take another hit on this Charizard. <sighs> oh shit, Mimikyu's up next. Oh man, it has four Pokemon. I gotta switch out. 
That's not good. I misplayed that hard. I think I just ruined myself. Well, if I have a Pokemon that needs to take one for the team, I know which one I'm using. God, if anybody is watching this to me trying to evolve my Farfetch'd, I give up after this because god damn it, it's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. It's too dangerous. <laughs> it's too fucking dangerous, dude. I can't. Oh, something's gonna get killed. It's too close. He's got one life left on him. I can't do it. Like this sock that they threw out, this bitch just threw out, bulked up twice. Oh, oh my god. If I got hit again, I'd have been struck. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have mattered. So he'd have been done. It wouldn't even have mattered. What's the point in risking his life? Yeah. Off with this stupid sock. I'm not going to be able to evolve this thing under regular circumstances. It's going to have to be. I don't know. I'm going to have to do dumb shit. Oh man, Shiva, I'm gonna need you to pull through, girl. Who's Shiva? It's my uh, Cooperaja. I'm gonna need her to come in clutch right here, cause I'm in a bad spot if she ta if I get taken out by this Gengar. It's about to Gigantamax right now. He called his Pokemon back. He forfeited. End it here. End it here. Oh, no. I really hope I could take these hits. Come on, Cooper Raja. You are bred for this. No, dude. Fucking Farfetch absolutely knows a move that does more than one attack at a time, because that's how I evolved it to begin with, the first time I did it. Yeah. It definitely does. I don't know what level it learns that, but it does. Alright, Shiva, uh, you need this Hyper Potion, so I'm going to give it to you. Have you had any deaths? No, not yet. Who's left? Uh, just the Gengar, but I'm gonna stall it out with some potions like you did. <laughs> Alright, so that's two hits already. Uh, they have one more hit. Oh, Max Darkness. We could take that easily. Perfect. This is the part where you fucked up, McAllister. Alistair. Whatever your name is. Oh man, my special defense fell. That's not good. Whoo, boy. Alright. Oh, I can't be switched out. Yeah, the ring of or, uh, Curry. shadow club. Something. I hope I could take this hit, because if not, that sucks. Oh, took you like a boss. Cooperage, you my girl. Bulldoze and we take out this Gengar. Alright, Morgan, that's it. Uh, be ready to save whenever you get a chance after I get out of this uh, stuff. Alright. Because I've officially beat the gym as well. And the start of the next episode, we'll be doing our battle. And uh, Joltik is evolving, which is great. Sweet. So, same here. I have four Pokemon fully evolved, uh, two that are not. <clears throat> and we luckily haven't lost a life since the last gym battle and last battle between me and Morgan. <clears throat> <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Gosh, that's a. Uh... One, two, three, to the bow. Snoop, doggy, 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 knocking on your dough. All right. <clears throat> Let me just get out of this dialogue. So what happened with the sock thing? It didn't work out? Mm, I mean, I killed it. It didn't kill me. So there's that. Oh, that's a plus. 
Sure is. <clears throat> All right. Um. Ghost uniform, <clears throat> and I'm good to save. You ready? Mm, yes. All right. Good. You ready? Oh shit! I got caught in dialogue. Right. One second. You good? Stop talking to me. Let me save. All right, I can save. Saving now. All right. All right. Well, that's no, it for I'm this episode, guys. Um, no, I'm in dialogue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. I can't really progress that much because I'll get stuck in dialogue again. Oh, okay. Save, save. Okay. All right. All right, now we can end. All right, thanks everybody for watching. Um, tune in next time. We'll be going at it. Somebody's going down. Somebody's going out. <coughs> Morgan. No, well, one of our moms. I don't know. No, I'm not cocky like Joe is. Joe talks a lot of shit. I'm, I'm not. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'm not. Nah, I ain't that? no bitch. I'm a man. Anyway. All about no, that. All bitch. about that fight. You're a big baby. <laughs> well, we'll for sure see you next time, guys. Right, see you.